Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. Ah, oh, my chair stinks. I guess that means I should take a bath. It has been a while since I've had one, so this might be due. I actually didn't have enough time for a bath, so I'm taking a shower instead. Gary takes a bath is the episode where SpongeBob tries to get Gary to take a bath and Gary tries to resist. This episode aired on July 26, 2003, and it's the only episode from Season 2 to air in 2003. Every other episode from Season 2 aired before 2003, and the last Season 2 episode that aired the year prior in 2002 is Episode 72, Krusty Love, making this the last episode of Season 2 to air on TV at all. While, of course, Episode 80, Sandy Swan Up in the Worm, is the last episode of Season 2 in terms of production. In addition to being the last episode of Season 2 to air, this episode is notorious for a lot of reasons. While this isn't the first episode that's less than 11 minutes long, this is the first short episode that is paired up with an episode that's between 11 and 22 minutes in length. Last time, we talked about episode 65, Shanghai, which is roughly 15 minutes long due to the patchy segments, the Spongebob portion being 13 minutes long, and the fact that the original airing was 22 minutes long due to it being a special Spongebob event where the fans could vote on which ending the episode would have. After the original airing of Shanghai, a cut down version with different patchy segments aired the following day and was used for all future reruns. Even though Shanghai aired in March 2001, this episode didn't officially air until July 2003, over two years after its sister episode. Not only is this the first official time where a B episode aired separate from its A episode, which becomes more common starting in Season 4 and still goes on to this day, but this is the greatest amount of time between the airings of two sister episodes throughout the entire show. Gary Takes a Bath also aired on the Nicktoons channel on July 17, 2002, and was released on the Sea Stories VHS and DVD on November 5, 2002, all months before it aired on Nickelodeon. I know how different Shanghai is in terms of being a Spongebob special, but why Gary Takes a Bad didn't premiere on the main Nickelodeon channel almost 900 days later is way beyond me. This episode is also the only episode in the whole show where only one voice actor stars in. This of course being Tom Kenny since he voices both Spongebob and Gary who are the only two characters that speak in this one. This episode also has possibly the most mature joke throughout the entire series. Look, doubloons! Don't drop them! Now you may have noticed that so far I've talked very little about the episode itself and more about the history of how it aired. That's because I wanted to talk about all that shit before we get into the episode itself. And now that I have, let's finally watch it and see what Spongebob fans in 2001 had to wait almost two and a half years for. So the episode starts up and the Gary clock strikes five, meaning it's time to give Gary a bath. Gary doesn't want to take a bath, and Spongebob started to come up with ways to get Gary in the tub. First, he tries a boomerang pet ball, which really does function as intended. Really? He straps a bomb to his chest, which explodes, gives subliminal messages, which end with a jump scare, calls a French restaurant to scare Gary, but doesn't know what language they were speaking, plays leapfrog, which breaks Gary's shell, offer a dollar, which gets taken by Mr. Krabs, and does some dance. But nothing worked. Then he claims to have found a treasure chest and says that there's treasure in the house. Seriously? Why is bathroom written on the paper? I know it's crossed out, but still. Spongebob led Gary into the bathroom and tried to trick Gary into thinking the tub and items were treasure. He then got pissed off and just tried to force Gary into the bathtub. After no avail, they then got flung to the ceiling in Spongebob's room and Gary basically dropped Spongebob in the bathtub. Spongebob, fed up with Gary's stubbornness, decides to bring the bath to Gary, so to speak, and absorbs the bath water. He then keeps trying to spray Gary with the water, with Gary dodging every blast. Gary runs outside, and Spongebob thinks Gary got stuck in a tree. He sprayed what he thought was Gary, but it was just a decoy with Gary's meowing being portrayed by a record player. Then the real Gary took the ladder and stranded Spongebob up in the tree. Spongebob got more furious, and Gary just made things worse by saying Spongebob wasn't the boss of him, and started going towards a mud puddle despite Spongebob's orders. Then Spongebob accidentally fell off the tree and landed in the mud puddle. Spongebob now had to take a bath, much to Gary's delight, and the episode ends. 
Damn, that's what happens every single week when SpongeBob tries to give Gary a bath? So that was Gary Takes a Bath. Pretty short and simple episode this time. I do think it's a fine episode, but there's not too much to talk about this one. I know it's shorter than usual, but it's still possible to get a good story with a shorter time frame. This episode is not plot driven, it's just Spongebob's various attempts to get Gary to take a bath. I do like the simplicity, but it can also be a downside in some cases, and whenever we see more of these short episodes paired up with longer episodes in the future, we'll see there's not too much of an actual plot. There are definitely some good moments in this episode. My favorite lines are of course that adult joke referring to the soap, and the beginning when Spongebob lists the various ways to get Gary in the tub. And to this day, I still wonder what the semi-medium easy hard way is, as well as the sort of hard with a touch of awkward easy difficult challenging way. My favorite gags in this episode are when Gary ends up next to Spongebob right after floating over the tub, Mr. Krabs taking the dollar in the rolling bathtub, and the boomerang pet ball box. I will admit, I never really understood how Spongebob dancing was supposed to get Gary to take a bath. Everything else made sense to me, but not the dancing. When I was a kid, I was a bit confused as to why Spongebob called a French restaurant, but a few years later I learned that French restaurants serve snails, so now I get it. I also remember my first exposure to this episode was the aforementioned Sea Stories VHS. I watched this and Shanghai the most. I loved both of these episodes as a kid, and while I still like this episode, I like Shanghai more these days. I just wish Spongebob actually was able to get Gary to take a bath, since Gary was being stubborn and gets away with it. Especially since he let Spongebob get blown up by the bomb. Even if you don't like baths, it's important to not be dirty anymore. Sure, Gary was invisibly dirty, but we didn't see a close-up that would show us more hyper-realistic details, so we won't know for sure how dirty or clean Gary truly was in this episode. I guess that Spongebob trying to blast Gary with the water would make him become a villain and landing in the mud puddle was his comeuppance, but his acts in the first half of the episode are justified. Something I do find interesting is that the end credits of this and Shanghai give a special thanks to The Amanda Show and Macy's. Obviously the perfume department scene was filmed at an actual Macy's, but I'm still trying to figure out why The Amanda Show was credited. Maybe they helped out with filming or editing the live action Patchy the Pirate segments from Shanghai, or the voting aspect, or maybe the close up of the hillbilly was character concept art for the hillbilly moments sketched from that show. But the wiki claimed that the hillbilly girl is portrayed by writer Meriwether Williams, but the end credits don't list her, so who the f knows. Somebody out there might know, and I don't, which is the most likely scenario. But hey, giving the Amanda show a shout out, I'm not against that. Amanda, please. I like this episode, but there's not much more to say about it. I love the simplicity, but Gary's stubbornness can also be a little frustrating at times. Not a deal breaker, but not a happy, pleasant time for Spongebob himself. Even though I loved it as a kid, but I think a little less of it today, I still don't think it's a bad episode by a long shot. It's still good, and even if there's barely a plot, or if there are some elements I never understood, there are still some good laughs here, and sometimes that's all you need from Spongebob. Gary Takes a Bath is a fine episode. It's definitely simple, and I do love me a simple episode from time to time. My criticisms don't really ruin the episode, at least for me anyway, but I do think it could have been a little better in some aspects. Like if we saw Spongebob get the bath ready.